So I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about why am I posting economics videos online? Why am I trying to teach people I don't know, nor will I probably ever need, about economics? To start off, there are altruistic reasons and selfish reasons for why I'm posting these videos online. Number one, why am I posting videos online about economics? Well, I think it's because of the nature of economics. I think that economics is an important discipline, that if you want to understand the world, economics is an, a wonderful framework for going out and, and ex explaining and understanding and rationalizing what is going on in the, um, in the newspaper. You can evaluate what, what people say using economic logic. If you can really develop the skills that economics gives you, um, that, that's something that, that will separate you from the herd. Now, a second reason that I am posting these videos is because I think economics is hard. Economics is hard for the average person. And if you're taking an economics class, I wanted to put out a resource that would be useful to help people come overcome the difficulty of economics. This is me doing my part to sort of overcome some of the difficulty of economics. Finally, among my altruistic motives, it's that economics is expensive to learn. If you want to get a first-rate understanding of microeconomics, you want to do it through formal channels, you have to go sign up for a college course. You know, we all know that tuition is expensive. You also need to buy expensive textbooks. Textbooks will range from $100 to $150. An idea, once it's fully formed and just put out there, is free for people to see. I mean, you have to read it, there's the time cost of actually uncovering that idea, but it really shouldn't be that expensive. $150 for a textbook? I mean, that's, that's a really big barrier to entry, and I don't think that some of those barriers ought to be there. So, that's, that is another reason why I'm posting these videos out here, so people who want to see what economics is all about can actually see what it's about at low cost. You know, economics learning obeys the law of demand. If the price is high, fewer people are going to want to learn economics. And so this is my, my way of reducing the price of learning economics, and hopefully it will encourage more people to learn it. Because going back to the first point, economics is important. And I think that if, if we have uh, enough people who understand economics in the world, uh, the world can be a more rational, better place. So now onto the selfish motives. Now the first selfish motive is that I just love teaching. I love to see people actually learn something that I put out there and it really, really gives me a sense of self-satisfaction. Now a second reason that's sort of a selfish reason is that I really like having subscribers to my YouTube channel. It's really fun for me to see people following along, um, following what, what videos I post about economics and about learning economics. And so I really would love it if you would subscribe. That said, I mean, you don't have to subscribe. You can still follow, follow anonymously. Bookmark Intermediate Econ on your browser. I just love seeing people come, come by and see that economics is worthwhile. And finally, if you want a really selfish motive for why I'm publishing these videos online, it's a really big advertising scheme for my own book. But don't think that I'm just doing this for advertising. I just gave you plenty of other reasons why I'm posting these videos. If you think you're learning quite a bit from my videos, just think of what you'd learn from a complete treatment of all these topics, in addition to multiple questions for you to work out and get some practice. I'm, a, I'm offering my book in paperback form for just $19.99. I'm doing this for both altruistic and selfish motives. I don't get too much for each, each book that you buy, but I do get a lot of satisfaction out of the fact that you got to learn economics at low cost. You're going to go out into the world and be able to analyze problems with a lot better economics. And it's not that expensive to learn economics in this way. So regardless of how you use Intermediate Econ, I want you to use it in the way that maximizes your utility. If you're just here to watch the videos, that's great. If you want the accompanying textbook, go out, buy it, and get the most out of it. If, if you're a TA or a teacher, tell your students about this. I mean, I think that this could be a really useful resource, and that is really the number one reason why I'm posting these videos.